Whoa. It's Jessica and welcome back to Gone Home where we're trying to figure out where the hell everybody is and apparently our sister, our little sister Sam, has been uh, writing in a journal about her life because we are playing a girl named Caitlin who has been away on a Europe trip and obviously she doesn't know what the fuck happened at home. So our little sister is just writing to us about like, you know, what happened in her life the, this entire year. Also we found out that our dad's a writer. And unfortunately, um, his books are not selling. And uh, I went into the, the, his uh, little, I guess his study here? I don't fucking know what it is. Um, but it looks like he's been drinking a lot. I hope dad isn't like an alcoholic. Anyway, Katie, please tell mom and dad sorry about the stuff that's missing. Sam. What? What stuff? Sam's our sister, by the way. Hi, Lonnie. If you wanted to come over to my house still this afternoon, that would be cool. I can drive. It's kind of far, but I can drive you home too, so hopefully that's fine. Write back and leave this on the locker if you still want to, and we can meet in the parking lot after 6. Samantha! Yeah, I'm totally in. See you there. I'm going to kick your butt. Get ready, L. You? What? So you know what they say about the best light plans of mice and men? Yeah, turns out it applies to Street Fighter too. At least I worked up the courage to walk into the 7-Eleven and ask for a turn, but all that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. So after I was finished getting my butt kicked, I followed them outside while they smoked. And that was when she asked me if I was that psycho house girl. Aww, that's but then rude. she said she's always really wanted to see the psycho house. Oh. Her name is Lonnie. <gasps> oh, she's that's coming a girl. over tomorrow. Wait. Hang on. Okay, you know, I'm not gonna... S maybe sh Should I make assumptions right now? Is our sister gay? Oh, it's locked. What the fuck? Okay. I, I have a feeling our sister's gay. And she has a crush on that Lonnie girl. Katie, please, whatever you found, don't tell mom and dad. The attic. What? The attic? Where's the attic? There's an attic? Where is it? That door is locked, so we can't go that way, I guess. Alright, we gotta go to the other side of the house. Is there a way I can run? Nope. I have a feeling that she's gay. Don't- don't spoil in the comments I'll kick your ass, but like... That's- that's what I'm assuming. Okay, I need to turn on more lights because it's freaking me out. Alright. What's in here? Directions for my new house. Okay. One hour and ten minutes. Damn, that's a far way. Okay, that's really nothing. Uh, it's a closet. Okay. Oh, what's this? Green forest. Janice. Oh, this is our, this is our mother. Oh, she's she works for the Forest Service. Okay, cool. Board game, what's this? What kind of board game is this? Over the Alps. A novel traveling game. Yep, that seems like the 90s. <laughs> what's over here? Can we on the- Why are all the lights off? Where's mom and dad is what I want to know. Are they asleep? Because, you know, it's fucking weird. Pick up one- Oh! Oh, we're a nerd! Okay. Pick up my old trophy. Oh no, we're-, we're Oh, we're an athlete. Cool. That's... that's weird. Alright. Why the fuck is that locked? Why is everything locked? This is our house. Oh god, okay, I guess it's time to go upstairs. Please, no jump scares, thank you. I'm gonna turn on all the lights because... Fuck this shit. I just- I just- it feels weird looking down the long hallway because it looks like there's somebody at the end, you know what I mean? So, what's this? Bratmobile, potty mouth, okay. It's weird hanging out with girls. Daniel was around ever since I was little, and other girls? I don't know. She's gay. But being around Lonnie is- She's like, gay. 
instantly just right. She's gay. She's gay. I knew it. The grand Psycho House tour, and took my revenge on Super Nintendo. And it was like I don't know. I finally found someone I feel normal around. Oh, that's so sweet. I drove her home, and she gave me this tape and said, "You have got to listen to this." I haven't stopped playing it since. Yep. She's gay, and she has a crush on Lonnie. Oh my god, this is so sweet. Okay. Oh my god, I knew it! I knew she was gay! I had this feeling! Uh, what the fuck? Why is this radiant area keep out? Oh, that's not, you know, that's not creepy at all. <laughs> wow. What? Let's just, can I turn that off? Thanks. Okay, that made me feel a lot better. Three ring binder. Is this our sister's room? I feel like this is our sister's room. Yeah, right? Okay. <laughs> Let's just close this. I think this is our sister's room. Because there's like pirate stuff, like a pirate flag over there, and she wrote the story when she was in second grade. What's this? Yep, that's her sister. Chun Li moves. Oh man, that's funny. <laughs> what the hell? Alright. Ooh, more games. What else does she have? Super Starfire. Okay. Oh, no, wait. Put it back. All right, I oh god, I fucking close this door for now. I don't want like jump scares. Sam, I think the creative writing track would be perfect for you. Where's our sister? Where the hell is everybody? They come home, nobody's here. Like what the heck? Um, what's in here? Good fellow high school disciplinary form. Miss Benjamin observes that Mrs. DeSanto is wearing a t-shirt with an unacceptable image on the front. A large beer can labeled hospital ribbon. Miss Benjamin was sent to the Guardian Council of office. She's given an option to turn in her shirt inside out, change into a shirt from her gym locker, or be suspended for the rest of the day. She chose suspension. Her father was called, but there was no answer. And no answering machine. She must return this form tomorrow, signed by her father. Student Lonnie D. Wait, what? Is this for Lonnie? Did she wear something weird? Oh yeah, it is for her, right? I hated that. The like, okay, I went to a Catholic high school. I mean, yeah, ca Catholic high school and Catholic elementary school. And I remember in elementary school, in the sixth grade, there was this girl. Um, she was wearing like um, it, it wasn't revealing. It was just like this tank top, right? Because it was summer and it was hot, and like her bra strap was showing by accident and I just remember that our teacher was flipped the fuck out on her because you're like you're showing your bra strap blah 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 it, you're gonna distract boys and I was thinking at the time like nobody's thinking that like you have to remember we're in the sixth grade and you you telling like girls like that age you're distracting boys is is like not you're not teaching the right mindset for these kids like I never understood why they did that it was so stupid Nobody was distracted. Nobody was distracted, honestly. The boys didn't give a shit at that time, you know what I mean? All they cared about was playing basketball or some shit like that. Like, it made no sense to me and it pissed me off. So stupid. Anyway, um, let's snoop some more. Can I- is there more lights? Yeah, here we go. Alright, that's just some magazine that our sister reads. And is there anything under her bed? What's this? Brochure! I don't know. Why is there a fork here? Our sister's kind of a slob. <laughs> Kurt Cobain? Oh my goodness! I actually love Nirvana, so... Is that a dinosaur? Aww, it's Stegosaurus! It's cute. Um... I want to believe. What about this? God damn it! <laughs> we always need a lock and I don't know what the fuck the combination is. Grab board game. Got your number. Oh my god, so 90s. What's this? Penguin. Ooh. Holy Bible. Okay. 
So are we like a Christian type of family? Is that what I'm, I'm guessing? Collar, midden. We had a cat, I assume. How do I get the freaking code to the locker? What's this? Captain Allegra is still on her followings. Oh my god, that's so cute. Hi, Lonnie. I wrote this in the first period and I left it in your locker on the way to second. It's what all the cool kids are doing. I've decided. Write me back. Also, here's an idea for something to draw. Two cats on a motorcycle. Hey, this is a good idea. Well, all the cool kids that are doing are actually sending each other pa pages on their, on their beepers. But we're cooler than them because guess what? They can't put this on a beeper. Okay? Your drawing of cats was so good, I added the background to make it even better. Maybe I should just stick to writing though. Haha, <laughs> I like it. How did you know they were about to get abducted by aliens? I'm looking at Mrs. Peafish right now. I feel like he probably would have a lot of cats. Also, like, his secret shame is watching 90210 religiously. <laughs> I'm going to ask him about the cats after class. He said he has two cats and also that he's never watched 90210. And I could see it in his eyes he was lying. Oh my god. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. So, I need to find the lock to the locker, but I don't... Yeah, she's totally gay. I'm just gonna point that out right now. Her sister is totally gay. Which is nothing wrong with that. I think that's awesome. Whoa, wait. Not a challenging assignment. Mental plague for a family portrait. Reasonable subject, but not complex. When I said that, mom and dad should get replaced with parents' names. I did not mean just add them underneath. Acceptable leveling on edges. Show more pride in work. She got a C minus. Jeez, what the hell? All right. Oh, why is it dark? Why the fuck is it always so dark? Where are we? Jesus Christ, how big is this house? Okay. Um. Hey Sam, do you want to see a Pulp Fiction after school at the Coliseum? It was out last weekend and Todd won't shut up about it. So it's either good or we can make fun of him for liking it. Mom is supposed to cook dinner for us tonight for a change. But I can just ditch out on, on it probably. What time? Also, is that movie supposed to be really violent? Am I gonna barf? According to the Todd, it's pretty hardcore. I guess Uma Thurman got stabbed in the heart with heroin needles, so that's kind of hilarious. Also, something about cheeseburgers is important. I think Todd is going to come. He, I think Todd is going to come so he can see it again, if that's okay. Seven fifteen. Okay, don't barf. All right, see you soon. All right. Uh, can I open this? Oh, it's just the bathroom. Let's turn on the light. All right. Notice how there's no mirrors in this game, so we can't exactly see ourselves. Is that- what the fuck? Is that blood? What is that? Oh! Oh my god, it's just hair dye over here. I thought someone died! Oh my goodness. Alani brought her hair dye over today. She said, I need to fix these roots. Think you could help? Dying hair is weirdly intimate. I don't know if I've touched someone else's scalp before. It's pretty intimate, right? It felt intimate. We looked into the mirror together after, and I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy, or good, or whatever. But that's when she said, You're so beautiful. And she was looking at me. <gasps> right in that moment, I wanted to say something. But I waited, and the moment was gone. Oh, that's so sweet! Oh my god! So, she's in love with Lonnie, and Lonnie- I think- I'm pretty sure it's pretty clear that Lonnie likes her too. Oh my god, I love this! How do I- oh, what the hell? Okay. I don't like the thunder that in the background, okay? This is supposed to be a nice gay moment right now and it's ruining everything. Alright, so that's just toiletry and shit. Let's close this. Close it! Okay. <laughs> okay, so this is our sister's bathroom, I can just only assume. And I don't know what the fuck the lock number is. 
I want to know. Okay, well, I'll, I'll come back. Hopefully, I'll find it because I'm really terrible at these things, like, finding, like, shit. Sam, stop leaving every goddamn light in the house on. You're bad as your sister. <laughs> Are you trying to say something here? Daniel called again. He wants his Nintendo game back. Daniel called. To whom it may concern, I, Samantha Grainbear, a 17-year-old, am therefore independent, fully functional human being. The fact that you're still forgiving me for going into the city on my own is frankly absurd. Compared to Katie, who is only three years older than me, and yet allowed to go all the way across the ocean to another continent on her own, just wanted to spend an evening in a normal, totally safe city on my own like a human being. And since you may also remember that I have my own car now, you, can, you can't really stop you. More, more regards, your daughter, Samantha. Wow, a rebellious teenager. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright. Oh, it's dark. Is this our room? Whose room? Oh, no. Is this mom and dad's room? Dear mom, dad, and Sam, I am in the... Ch I'm in the channel. This is the second passage through the channel i'm on my way back from london this time from brussels belgium sorry i didn't write to you on the way to london but i was so excited about ch the channel london was great dad i know you've always wanted to go and visit and i think you should you'd love it if you all want to wanted to come back here as a family sometime i guess i could be convinced love you all katie okay that's from us and book holy bible Ooh, what's this business card Unknown Dimensions Literature. Oh, is this our dad's, like, publishing company? Maybe? I don't know. This is weird. We're snooping in our own house, you know what I mean? And, okay, now that we're in the parents' bedroom, where the fuck is everybody? Like, what? Nobody's here. It's kind of fucking weird. Oh, Barb, what is this? <laughs> I like the caption, it's so barf. There's nothing I don't hate right now. <laughs> okay. Oops, I took out her bookmark. My bad. <laughs> okay, dark bathroom, dark bathroom. Turn on the light. Okay, thank God. Um, uh, nothing here either, right? Uh, after honeymoon. <laughs> Rediscovering your spouse, personality, sexuality, and spirituality. Oh my god. It's just, oh. <laughs> Which way did I, I come from this way? Okay. Let's go down the creepy hallway because, you know. <laughs> Whoa. What the fuck? Okay, I'm just gonna pretend I didn't see anything. Katie, mom and dad were going to make up the guest bedroom for you to stay in over the summer, but you came home on such a short notice that we weren't around to do it. You can use my room if you want. I won't be needing it anymore. Sam. What does that mean? What? Oh god. Is this our room? Oh yeah, it is, and they're not done. <laughs> they just kind of like shoved all our stuff in here. Okay. All right, journal, August 31st, 1994, tall shadow in the upstairs hall. When I rounded the corner, no one was there. How tall was Uncle Oscar? Note, I was not wearing my glasses. September 3rd, 1990, okay. Faint voice coming from the bottom of the stairs. I said hello, did not investigate, probably was the furnace. So number nine, poured milk from the cart of the fridge. It was spoiled. Pretty sure I read that spirits can sour milk. Milk was just brought yesterday. Uh, okay, that's what the fuck is happening. October 9th, Lonnie said she feels a presence in, in the TV room. Suddenly so began to feel cold when we built a protective fort pillow. Oh my god, that's where the book was with the, you know, the they were reading about poltergeist. Is this place haunted? Oh my god. Okay, October 22nd, Lonnie and I employed a Ouija board as a medium. Disturbing messages are conveyed on the other side. Oscar is definitely here. Oh my god. October 29th. Enlisted Lonnie to stay all night to help me patrol pr the premises. Recording any signs of otherworldly presence. Lonnie reported many sightings but remained unconfirmed. Possibly 
and ectoplasm at the attic, probably due to leaky roof. Samples taken just in case. Despite our best efforts, we both fell asleep around 4 a.m. All in a, su a successful night. Oh my god, if this place is haunted, I'm gonna run. <laughs> like, for real. Hi Sam, you were asking about my my JROTC ribbon med. Here's a handy guide. Cool. Lonnie. So that, okay, that picture was Lonnie then. So I was right. Alright, that's awesome. This is extremely creepy. Now that they said there was like a ghost in the house. Fuck my life. What is this? Is, is this our mom's room or something? Does she paint? Halloween show, don't forget your costume. Okay. Sometimes you just have to lie to mom and dad. Like when Lonnie asked me to see a band with her and stay over at her friend's place in the city after. That's a lie to mom and dad situation. But it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome. And everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. Between two songs, Lonnie leaned over and said, How do you like your first show? I was so happy. I felt tears starting in my eyes. And then she up and hugged me. I think she could tell. She could tell she liked you. She liked you. Oh my god. Okay, I'm just gonna put that over here. It might get copyright. All right. Okay, so earlier, like it glitched and I couldn't read things, but there was a letter in Mom's like drawer, so I wanted to just look at it before we continue. Dear Jen, oh honey, let me tell you, I understand how you feel. Baba and I had our down period. It's a becoming a bit of a way of life, actually. You get used to each other and you live on your own lives in the same house. The kids grow up, then they go away. I'm sorry this isn't helping, is it? Don't worry. Terry will be over whatever is distracting him. Things will go back to normal. And as for Sam being distant, that's a teenager for you. Nothing to worry about. In the meantime, though, this controlled burn that sounds like quite an adventure. But let me cut the chase. Let me cut to the chase. The new ranger that they sent, that's what I want to hear about. Ranger Rick? You have to be kidding me. It's too perfect. You have to tell me everything and send pictures. I want the whole package. Wait, that sounded wrong. Keep your chin up until Terry is out of his slump. And in the meantime, write letters to your old friend Carol. She adores them. Ooh, so mom and dad are having troubles. I was right. Dad is like a, maybe an alcoholic? Did I go in here? I don't remember. He might be an alcoholic, but... Did our sister run away? Cause I get the feeling she kind of left, and this is fucking creepy. What is this? Sam's dark room. Do not enter if the lights are on. Someone up there. Why is everything locked? Okay, guys, I'm gonna end the episode here. So far, this story has been really interesting and really weird. I hope I don't find the dead body because it says the attic. If the lights are on. Don't come in. Oh my god. Anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Gone Home. Uh, remember to leave a like and subscribe and comment. Tell me if you haven't played this game. Don't spoil in the comments. But if you haven't played this game, tell me what you think is going on. Do you think that our sister ran away? She's for sure gay. Like, that's for sure right there. But I just want to know where the fuck the whole family is. Because, like, what the hell just happened? Like, everybody's gone. Anyway, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!